Today we're going to be looking at extending the cable on an existing light niche when you want to fit a new fitting and not to change the cable. First of all make sure the supply to the light is completely isolated before carrying out any works. The kit with the light comes with heat shrink sleeving which you put onto the cable first of all and some crimp connectors to join it. So you cut the lengths of the flex a little bit staggered just to give room for the crimps and then crimp the supply connectors onto the existing cables. And on the other one. We can then join this cable to the new cable. We have the cables now securely crimped together. Now we slide over the heat shrink tubing over to the outside of the joint, making sure it's completely covered. And then it's a matter of with a hot air gun and heating it to shrink the sleeving. When the heat shrink tubing is completely shrunk onto the cable, you can see at the ends the glue emerging from the joint. And at this point it's best to let the joint just dry for a while before immersing it in any water. We'll just prove the waterproof joint has now been worked and completed by switching the lamp on into the tank as you can see. This is the waterproof joint that we now carried out and again we'll completely immerse it into the tank. As you can see, the lamp still keeps working. I hope that has been a little bit of help today on how to carry out a waterproof joint on a lighting cable.